All right, guys. Today we're gonna be painting the bumper and the fog light covers and the fog light holders on the WX bumper. So I'm gonna use the Omni base coat and uh, got my Satajet RP set at 30 psi. So I'm just gonna start with a medium wet coat and uh, I always try to go over your edges to make sure that they get covered. There's don't want to get caught like painting and then uh, just before you clear and then noticing that you miss a spot. So especially when I'm painting a piece I've never painted before, I always make sure I go over the edges first. And in these particular things, those inside uh, little vents were pretty difficult to get and uh, took a few coats to get them all, but they were all done and look really good. So again, I'm just going to be recording the first coat of um, a spraying because I need to find a good case for my GoPro that I could just kind of take off and clean with a tack rag or maybe a little bit of gun wash if it gets really bad. But right now, it's the only case I have, so I don't want it to get too dirty. You can see by the end of uh, spraying the base that it'll get everything will be a little bit of tint of red on the recording. I think I'm going to invest on some different stands to mount these small pieces because they were a little bit hard to get and it'd be nicer to have them a little bit higher up. Just got to, just got to move, like uh, maneuver the airline so you don't get it uh, touching anything. So I always make sure I get the the inside edges of the bumper because it gets forgotten pretty easily even when you're doing your prep work you really want to get those edges really good because if it's going to start peeling from somewhere it's going to be from the edges and especially if you're like washing the car with the pressure washer you really want to get those uh, edges sanded really well before painting so the paint adheres And I know uh, some of you super owners might be asking uh, why am I painting the whole inside here red? Well, I primed the whole thing because just the I wanted a good base for like the actual paint to stick on. So I'm going to paint and clear that whole inside part that's supposed to be black. And then uh, once it's all cured, I'll paint it black afterwards. That way I have all the paint has good adhesion and has a good uh, base to start with. And uh, had my gun a little bit upside down there and leaked a little bit on the ground and I was just making sure the cap was wide open. So again, if you do have a proper booth with a good burner and a good heating system, you don't really have to put your first coat, coat on this light. You can put it on uh, pretty heavy, especially with base coat. Especially if you have a metallic, you want those metallics to flow properly and land properly. Like this is a pretty dry coat just to get uh, some good adhesions. I don't get any runs in your base coat. Runs in your base coat are pretty rare, rare so but they do happen and if they do it's it's okay you can just wait till it's all cured and you could sand them out with some uh, 400 or 600 grit before you clear coat but this is looking pretty good she got everything covered and next coat will, will be put on uh, much more wet to get some good 
coverage. So now with the clear coat, again uh, 30 psi, and same thing with the base coat. I'm gonna go over all my edges just to make sure they're all covered, and then once they're all got some good coverage, I'll be going on a uh, pretty heavy. So again, first coat, just uh, medium wet. Some people call that a grip coat, just so the don't get any runs in the clear and you can put your next coats on uh, pretty heavy. So I did put this on a little bit heavier than I would for a grip coat. And then I hammered on two really heavy coats. So I would say that this bumper has two and a half or two and three quarters uh, coats of clear. And I added a 10% uh, flex additive to it too. Even with the 10% flex additive, it still looks really glossy. I know some flex additives um, dull the bumper over time, so we'll see how this one turns out. If it does get dull, it's all it needs is a quick polish to bring that shine out again. And we'll see how it holds up to the rock chips with that extra clear and extra flex in it. And all the covers too got uh, about three coats of clear. And here it is after uh, drying for a day. I think it turned out awesome. Looks really good. Just maybe like five or six uh, dust nibs in the whole job. Pretty happy with that. Can't wait to see it installed on the car. It's gonna look really good. So thanks again for watching guys. And uh, next video I'll be tackling uh, the defenders, the one with the run, and I also got the other fender to paint now.